now it's an exciting time to be in robotics because everything that wasn't possible before is possible now. And we can definitely see the outcome, we can see everything is working out and it's actually going to help out the communities. The global agri-tech market is set to grow at about 13% between now and 2030 with robotics and automation to replace about 50% of day jobs by 2040. At the university we've been able to get cross-disciplinary teams together to work on problems, to get humans working well with robotics. Development of agricultural technology is important for our country. We've got an opportunity to apply automation to make ourselves profitable and more environmentally sustainable. Robotics is at the forefront of solving many challenges we are facing, including labour shortages, and growers are coming to us desperate for solutions. For the past couple of years, we have developed prototype asparagus harvesters with a 3D camera system, and this has the potential to revitalise the asparagus industry. We've recently established a co-design lab in Tauranga, where we can build our robotics while working closely with end users and specialists across the region. We're working on some really high-tech solutions and some lower-tech solutions that can go to market quickly. So we're working with Zespri International to help them solve some of the harvest labour challenges. And instead of just diving in and doing the technical side, we're working with end users, harvest contractors, and co-designing with them so we understand the product from a usability point of view, a viability point of view, in addition to the technical expertise that we bring. The University of Waikato is truly an exceptional place. Working with Rua Bioscience in Rua Tora is very important. It's not just about developing a new technology, it's about working in our communities, with our communities, to develop the technology so that together we become world leaders. So with Rua Bioscience, we are developing a precision horticulture technology using hyperspectral imaging. And in so doing, we are able to tell what the optimal harvest time is as we in real time assess the growth of the medicinal cannabis plant. So here in our Aotearoa, New Zealand, we must be at the forefront of this technology roadmap. And to achieve that, we have to inspire the next generation of engineers with the work that we are doing with our industry partners. Jobs in robotics, automation and sensing are outpacing all other engineering disciplines. So we need more people than ever in robotics research and innovation. And Waikato is the best place for it. Mm -hmm.